All right, everybody, how's it going? It is Tuesday, October 31st, 2023, and it's a spooky day. You know, it's the end of week eight. It's week nine. It's Halloween. So happy Halloween to anyone who's celebrating. And I guess if you're listening to this on like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, I hope you had a good Halloween and all that. But uh, yeah, we just finished with week eight. We had a pretty solid week last week going um what was it uh 11 and 5 it was so that's pretty good um we'll, we'll look at that in a second but yeah so i don't know we did pretty good um we didn't see a few of the upsets we didn't see a few of the picks it, just a couple things just went wrong um you know overall we did good we got the titans game right got the patriots wrong that was kind of like the thing the reason we didn't go 12 and 4 was basically because i can't i had to pick the patriots last it, it is what it is but anyway uh before we jump right into the video make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you're new around here make sure you leave your picks with your pick record your picks for this week how, how everything's going you know just i'm um, curious to see how you're thinking this week's gonna go this is a tough week so um i'm very curious um this is gonna be a good fun week of football and uh yeah, let's uh, jump into the video. So sorry about the YouTube stuff. You got to include that or else the videos do be do not as good. Uh, pick em record. Of course, we already kind of discussed that. Um, we went, uh, where is it? 11 and 5. So we're up to 73 and 49. Not exactly the best record, but hey, we're slowly improving. We're getting better each week. Uh, those, six, those two six win weeks have really uh, doomed the record a little bit, but we're on the road to recovery as they say. Uh, we have some bye weeks this week. Four teams are off, including the Lions, Broncos, Jaguars, and the 49ers. So if you're a fan of one of these teams, enjoy the week off. Hopefully your teams get healthy. Um, you know, get things right. Come back sharp and ready to go. <clears throat> I think there's no bye weeks again, like in like a week or two. It's like a weird bye schedule this week year. I'm not sure what they're doing. But anyway, um, yeah, let's jump into some football. Talk about Thursday Night Football. We have the Tennessee Titans taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers are three-point favorites with an over-under of 36.5. All the lines are from FanDuel. We just include them just because they're added after we make all our picks. So I don't really know who's ever favored while I'm going through and uh, making all my picks. So anyway, we have the um, you know we have the Titans coming off that big win versus the Falcons. That was a that was a good burp. Damn, that means the good luck is here. We're we're off to a we're off to a rolling start. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, the Steelers are coming off the 20 to 10 loss versus the Jaguars. Their offense just wasn't able to get anything going. Will Levis had a big day for the Titans in his, uh, you know, his big first start, I guess you could call it. Maybe not his first start, but his big start. Um, the reason I'm leaning on the Steelers this week, um, there's like a few reasons. I don't really think this game's going to be super offensively oriented. Um, you know, you got the Titans who play pretty decent defense, and then you've got the Steelers who are a defensive oriented team. So you kind of have this situation of it's a short week, so you kind of always favor the, favor the home team on a short week, um, especially on Thursday night football. Uh, then you kind of look at like, all right, so you're looking at a Titans offense that's been really streaky, really inconsistent this year. The offensive line hasn't been great. Um, so it, it's like, all right, so you're seeing one of the top defenses in football up against a team whose offense is streaky and consistent, led by a real young quarterback who hasn't really seen a defense like the Steelers on a short week. It's kind of seeming like the Steelers will win this game based on those situations. Again, coaching advantage. Um they have the experience advantage. They have a better. They have a really, really good defense that can shut down the Titans' offense with the offensive line problems, the inconsistent play, the young quarterback. Uh, you know what I mean? All those things seem to just be working against the Titans. Now, could they win? Pro maybe. They have a quarterback that doesn't really have a lot of tape, and you know they got DeAndre Hopkins and Derrick Henry. Things could work, but again, I think the Steelers, due to their defense and how they even shut down the Jaguars really well, um, I don't think the Titans have the offense like the Jaguars do, and that's what it took to beat the Steelers um, by just ten. <laughs> it's like, so give me give me the Steelers in a pretty close, uh, actually decent football game um, if you like defensive football. Here's the game of the week. The Kansas City Chiefs play the Miami Dolphins over in Germany at 9.30 a.m. Chiefs are favored by 2.5 with an over-under of 50.5. Uh, both teams, well, the Dolphins are coming off a win versus the Patriots, 31-17. to Tyreek Hill finally broke 100 yards again versus the Patriots, so congrats to Tyreek Hill. He finally got 100 versus us. Uh, and then the Kansas City Chiefs, um, they ended up losing 24-9 to to the Broncos in a game that Mahomes was sick. There was some, you know, they finally lost to the Broncos. Broncos get a big win. Uh, the Broncos were always going to be the team that beat them. They always come so close, and they finally pulled it off. This was the upset pick I missed, and I was like, "Damn, I should have pitched. I should have switched my pick as soon as I heard Mahomes had a bad flu." Um, but I'm guessing he'll be recovered for this game. Um, the only reason you, I'm not picking Miami is 
<laughs> their like two losses are to Buffalo and to the Eagles. And it's like, <laughs> so the only two really good teams that they've played, they've lost to, and then they've beat six bad teams. Um, they might have like one good solid win, but it's like beating a bunch of like the Panthers and like the Patriots and like one or two win teams it's like yeah that's impressive and you're beating the hell out of a lot of these teams which is what you're supposed to do and that doesn't mean like you're a bad team if you're just playing good teams but like when you play two good teams like the bills and the eagles and you haven't looked that good in either one of those games i'm wondering if when playing a team like kansas city who has a very good defense this year i think it's like the second or third overall rated defense right now um you you see the problems start to rise like Miami's defense has had holes against good teams so you could see like where Kansas City might be able to take advantage of a defense that hasn't been super strong but they did get Ramsey back and they should be at full strength next you know what I mean there's like a couple things that help the Dolphins but again it's just like we have to see them beat a team like Kansas City Buffalo uh the Eagles like we got to see them play against a team of equal caliber to them and beat them before it's like yeah they can come beat the defending champions it's like, you know, like there's like scales and levels to everything. And do I think the Dolphins keep it close? Oh, hell yeah. This is going to be a good game. I'm actually going to wake my ass up early to stream this game. This is going to be fun. Um, but I got the Chiefs in a close one. Uh, we have the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons are four and a half point favorites with an over under 37 and a half, obviously. Um, we already talked about the Titans game. The Falcons coming off a, a loss. Vikings coming off a 24 to 10 Pyrrhic victory against the Packers because it cost them Kirk Cousins. He's out for the season with an Achilles rupture, the same injury Rodgers had. Um, and because of that, I don't know who the hell is playing quarterback for the Falcons. I don't think anybody does, or for the Vikings, I don't think anybody knows. Um, I mean, Taylor Haneke is probably playing quarterback for the Falcons. I, I'm guessing I have. This is a confusing game that I don't have a lot of information on. <laughs> it's like, who's the quarterback for either team? We don't know. Um, but I think Atlanta might be able to win this game based on the fact that Minnesota is probably going to seem like a mess. They really they are in quarterback hell right now. And at least with Atlanta, we know that Haneke or Ritter can probably win this game. Um, we'll see what Minnesota does. I may revisit this game Saturday just because I don't really know much about it right now. Uh, here's another really good game, a candidate for game of the week. You may be wondering why they haven't flexed all these games, and you'll see why they, none of the games got flexed <laughs> uh, to Sunday Night Football this week. The Seahawks play the Ravens. Uh, both teams coming off, or yeah, a win, right? Yeah, both teams coming off a win, 24-20. Uh, comeback win for the uh, Seahawks versus the Browns. Uh, <laughs> kind of a coaching mistake there by Stefanski. Gave them the win. but um, And then uh, the Ravens beat the Cardinals 31-24 to in a pretty good little game. Uh, Ravens are favored by 5.5 with an over-under of 42.5. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just going to go with the Ravens. Um, they've been really good this year. They play good against good teams. Um, I don't know. Uh, Seattle's had like weirdly close games against uh, teams. Like when I seen them play the Bengals, when I see them play the Browns, they're always in these. Like they can beat good teams and they play good teams well. They beat the Lions, they beat the Browns, they beat the Bengals. You know what I mean? Like these are good wins. Um, it's just the Ravens have similar things. The AFC, uh, the N AFC North is dominating the NFC West this year. Seems like they just have their number. Literally, I think every single AFC West team. Or AFC North team has beaten the AFC uh, NFC West team that they've played. It's a very cool situation. Um, again, Lamar's playing like an MVP. That's going to be hard to stop. The uh, Ravens defense should be a little bit better than they were against the Cardinals. Um, should be a good game. I don't know. I like I like the Ravens in this one. Basically, it's a if it was in Seattle, I'd probably go with C uh, the, the Seahawks in this one. But since it's in Baltimore, I'm leaning Baltimore. Uh, very similar teams, very similarish quarterbacks. So they should be ready for each other, and I like the Ravens because of that. Um, I obviously have the Browns winning this game. I don't really care if Kyler plays, if uh, that rookie plays, but it's not going to be Josh Jobs anymore. He lost his job. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals play the Cleveland Browns. Browns are favored by 7.5 with an over-under of 37.5. Um, so basically, the way I'm viewing this game is I don't think the Arizona Cardinals have the offense to deal with the Browns defense, and I think the Browns will just kind of win this game via their defense. Really irrelevant what they do with the offensive side of the ball, but... You know, give me the Browns. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, some games I'm not going to have a lot to say, like this game. Like, who who cares? 
You know, like in week nine, we know what the who cares games are. And this is one of them. Trust me, my team's in that list. I hate to say it, but uh, the Los Angeles Rams take on the Green Bay Packers. Rams coming off a blowout loss to the Cowboys, 43-20. to And we've already discussed the Packers losing 24-10. So rough season for both teams. Packers are three-point favorites with an over-under of 39 and a half. Basically, I think the Rams will win this game because, again, the Packers can't really start a full half, of, play a full game of football. They do literally nothing in the first half. I think they scored like six points, maybe like 400 total yards in eight games <laughs> or in seven games played sorry they had a bye week so i don't really know what they're going to do on offense um i think they'll come back late in the game i think they'll make it a game in the third quarter on but because of the fact that the rams will get out to like this decent sized early lead um they'll just kind of be able to hold them off with a decent defensive showing so I don't, you know what i mean it just feels like a pretty obvious situation that the rams will win because the packers really haven't showed any real life on offense this season so you know, eh, this is an, is an okay game. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers take on the Houston Texans. The Texans are three-point favorites with an over-under of 40. We call this game the Rebuilding Bowl. That was actually last week was the Rebuilding Bowl. Um, the Tam uh, the Bucks are coming off a 24-18 loss to the Bills, in which they almost came back to win. That was a crazy finish to that game. If Godwin get, is in a little bit different position or if Otten isn't, you know, fucking P.I.'d, <laughs> who knows how that game finishes. Um and the Texans lose a heartbreaker to the Panthers, 15-13, which was a crazy walk-off field goal. Bryce Young got his first win. Um, I know the game's in Houston, and Houston's been playing well. Um, but I feel like due to the fact that Tampa's defense is actually really solid, and we've seen Houston's offense start to struggle in the last couple weeks, where if they're playing a team that can get a good pass rush and get after Stroud and disrupt the offense, <clears throat> it seems like the Houston has trouble like getting things going if they can't like if they don't have a good start they just kind of never really get it going um and Tampa Bay is a really really good defense that can frustrate even the best of offenses like the Bills or or the Lions like they're they're very good at defense and I don't know if Houston has the offensive capabilities yet to win this game um so I'm going to go with Tampa and kind of like a upset pick but not really an upset pick <laughs> you know what I mean it's like yeah Oh, yeah, this game. Uh, the Washington Commanders play the New England Patriots in a real good, big, good who gives a... F <laughs> Unless you're a fan of one of these teams, you probably don't care about this game. Patriots are three-point favorites with an over-under of 39 and a half. Um, we know the Patriots are coming off that loss to the Dolphins. The uh, Commanders played a really close game against the Eagles, 38-31, like they usually do. Um, I like the Patriots here. I, uh, Commanders' offense is streaky, not very good, and it's probably going to be one of the worst we've played yet to this point. So I can imagine the Patriots' defense uh, really doing a good job, shutting down Sam Howell, getting good pressure on him, kind of picking him off a few times, uh, utilizing their very good secondary to kind of just shut down the whatever passing game or run game that we that will try to be used again the Patriots are very good at stopping the run this year so they'll probably just completely x that out leave it to the pass and then kind of bully Sam Howell that's kind of how I view that game Patriots should be able to win this game I think we even scored 20 points for the second time this year this will be good oh boy game of the year the Bears take on the, there's not a lot of bad matchups this week it's just like this is one of the only bad ones the Bears play the Saints Saints are favored by seven with an over under of 41 uh the Bears lost to the Chargers 30 to 13 and the Saints destroyed the uh Colts 38 to 27 the Saints may have found their offense I'm not really sure what's going on with them but I got the Saints winning this game 17 13 I don't care if the badge man Tyler badge in it plays or um uh, fields it's <laughs> give me the saints at home with that defense it's like yeah good luck chicago you may not even score uh, uh, playing down there is a nightmare <laughs> um colts take on the panthers and this this might actually be the worst one um it's it's only not as bad as the saints and bears because the bears aren't involved but the panthers are which are basically the bears they're like the cat bears you know what i mean you have the carolina cat bear and then you have like the chicago bear cats Oh wait, that's a real thing, a bear cat. Never mind. Never mind. Fuck that. It, I didn't say any of that. Uh, we already know what happened. Colts lost. <laughs> Panthers lost. Colts are favored by three with an over-under of 44 and a half. <clears throat> yes, I'm proud of Carolina. They got their first win. They're not going to go defeated. They, you know, they avoid the 0-17 curse, but I think they get right back on their thing. They probably lose this game to the to the Colts. Colts are a pretty good offense that's been getting going. Their defense has been really shaky the last couple weeks, but they should be able to hold off the Panthers and win this game. 
you know, pretty comfortably. Ugh. Man, they stacked all the bad games in a row. Uh, the New York Giants take on the Las Vegas Raiders. The Raiders are two and a half point favorites with an over under a 37 and a half. By the way, these are four o'clock games. I don't think I said that yet, but these are the four o'clock slots. Um, there's only three of these, so we're almost done. We only have uh, this game, this game, the next one. And yeah, we have four games left. We're almost done. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got the Raiders winning. Uh, they may have just lost to the Lions 26-14. Uh, but again, I've seen a few things I did like from the Raiders in that game. Um, and the uh, Giants lost to the Jets 13-10 in a hilarious uh, ending game. <laughs> so... The Raiders do have a pretty solid defense. They were giving the Lions fits and kind of getting after the quarterback, disrupting plays, kind of putting the clamps on what is otherwise a very explosive offense, especially once they got past like the 40. Once they got in the like Raiders territory, like between the 40 and the 20, the Raiders did a very good job of shutting down the Lions offense in, in the bend don't break defense. So I kind of like that. And I think if they can utilize that defense against a team like the Giants, who have a very meh offense, it basically doesn't exist. Um, I think the Raiders can win this game basically just off the strengths of their defense and kind of running the football. And um, that's kind of why I like the Raiders in this one. Again, their defense is pretty good. We've seen them do well against like the Lions. So if they can do that against the Giants, they should be able to win this game basically just, just kicking field goals. So give me the Raiders. Uh... Oh, finally, a good game again. Thank goodness. I, the next two games are good. And then the, the final game is the Chargers and the Jets. So... <laughs> It's like, we have this game, we have Sunday Night Football, and then we got the Chargers-Jets. So, anyway, we got the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles are three-point favorites with an over-under of 46.5. And, a half. and uh, the, obviously, the Cowboys are coming off their 43-20 to 20 win versus the Rams. And uh, the Eagles are coming off that close win, 38-31 versus the Commanders. And, yeah, I don't... You could convince me either way in this game, but I'm taking the Eagles right now. I'm probably going to split this home-home based on the way Dallas plays in this game. But um, I think similarly to Miami, when I'm thinking of the Dallas Cowboys, I can't think of like a significant win where I'm like, whoa, they're legitimate. Um, they have a lot of very good wins. Like they beat the Patriots real bad. They beat the Rams real bad. Like they've beaten teams up pretty good. It's just like, I think of like that 49ers game and I'm like, oh, that's, is that who they are when they play like playoff teams? Um, Whereas, like, the Eagles have a weird loss to the Jets, and they've beaten everybody else. They're not pretty, but they're winning the games, and that's what's important. And because they're winning, um, they played decent teams and beat them. I've seen the Eagles do well against, like, Miami. Um, and they've seemed to play better against better teams. Like, they played really well against Miami, then almost blow it. Like, they lose to the Jets, uh, do really well versus Miami, then almost blow it versus the... You know what I mean? I feel like they play to their competition, and they play to the moment, so... I feel like the Eagles should be able to win this game at home. Win the lean Eagles. Uh, could the Cowboys win? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. It's like two of the best teams in the uh, NFC going head to head. But I, I like the um, Cowboys to win this game. Or Eagles, sorry, Eagles to win this game. Um, I've just seen the way that the Eagles play against good teams is better than what I've seen the Cowboys play against good teams. And uh, I just you got to kind of go with that. All right, Sunday night football. Yeah, they're going to try this shit again. Uh, last time these two teams got together on a primetime game, we all know what happened. Um, hopefully this one goes a lot better. We're going to try this we'll take two. Uh, Buffalo Bills take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals are two and a half point favorites with an over-under of 48 and a half. Uh, obviously the Bills are coming off their 24-18 win versus the Bucks, And the Bengals blew, kind of beat up on the 49ers 31-17. Um so the reason I'm going with the Bengals is because they, they're back. They figured out their offense. They've got things clicking. They're humming. They're in a really good rhythm right now. Um, so I kind of like that part about the Bengals. Uh, we know their offense is very high-powered. They're able to do what they did against the best defense in the NFL in the 49ers. They really had their way with them. And then we look at what the Bills. Um, the Bills have been playing weird football, right? They lose to the Patriots. Um, and give up like 30 points, which is shocking with how bad the Patriots have been this year at offense. And then they only give up 18 to the Bucks, but those 18 points tell a really interesting story, right? It's that the Buffalo Bills were leading this game, dominating most of this game, and then the fourth quarter happens, and the it was like 24-10 in the fourth quarter. They score a touchdown, the, the Buccaneers did, making it 24-18. They get the two. And then they stop the Bills on offense, 
get the ball back, and then they have like 30 seconds to get down the field. And Baker and the Bucks are actually in a position where they have a decent shot at this Hail Mary. They get to like the 50-yard line with like, like, I don't know, like six seconds, and they launch it. And had Otten not been like pass interference down, or if um, Godwin maybe turns around a split second sooner, Again, positioning, and if you understand the the way the Hal Mary's built, Godwin never really had a shot at that play. But say for some reason he was doing something wrong and was in position to catch that ball, like the Bills almost had back to back weeks where they blew the game. Like it's like they blew it versus the Patriots, and then they would have blown it versus the Bucks. And those are two not like great offenses that are just kind of like doing this to the Bills defense. So I'm looking at this Bengals team going. I feel like because. I've watched two very mediocre offenses almost beat the Bills. Like, I'm like, I feel like a good offense is going to be able to do some damage against this defense that's missing a lot of guys due to injury, hasn't really played the best offenses in the last two weeks. Now they get the Bengals this week. So now we get to see what the Bills are really made of. And I think because they blew it against the Patriots, almost let it happen again against the Bucks. Now they're at now they have to go on the road to Cincinnati against a really good Bengals team right now. I feel like that's bad luck for the Bills. Um they're gonna keep it close because Josh Allen's good. Bengals defense is also really good, but you know, the Bills can score against it. Um but again, I do think it comes down to the fact that the Bills defense has so many weird injuries right now, and the fact that they're it just seems like they're just not completing games and not finishing games to the best of their ability. Um I like the Bengals to win this game. I feel really good about that pick too by the way hopefully everyone <laughs> let's just hope that the game actually finishes right all right monday night football chargers versus the jets this might be the stupidest pick i've done all year i'm gonna go with the jets in an upset i don't like zach wilson i don't like the new york jets i like justin herbert and i i kind of like the chargers I hate Brandon Staley. He's an idiot. He needs to be fired. And I hope this is the game that does it. I actually hope the Jets get one of them rare situations where they get a head coach fired. Um, I'd be very proud of the little Jets and Zach Wilson. Um, I honestly do think the Jets can win this game. As like silly as this sounds, I, I like as soon as I seen this game, I was like, that's a deceptively really good football game that no one's like, we're not ready for if the Jets can win this game. But I think they can. Um, I think defensively they can do enough to like kind of get after the chargers who you know can can be messed with because they're not well coached you can kind of get after them put pressure on them i think the jets have a very good defense and you should see the way they play good quarterbacks like they've they made mahomes look like shit they've looked dude it's like josh allen played bad everybody who plays the jets defense like looks really bad and i can see um justin herbert who due to coaching and other things can be forced to have bad games so we can see maybe the jets take advantage get a couple picks maybe a few big sacks a strip you know get the ball from them um <laughs> it's just this jets offense is so bad but again the chargers defense you know it can be good but i don't, I don't know um basically i'm just i'm gonna go with the jets in an upset i have no idea why i think this but it's like in my deep stomach and i've ignored all my deep stomach takes this year and they've always been right so i'm gonna go with the jets this week all right though but i think that's about that we've got all the picks down we got it done it's in the drain it's in the disposal getting turned on you can hear it shredding um everything's good for the picks this week hopefully we have a good week uh, again let me know what your picks are let me know what you think of the picks all that fun stuff down below it's a hard week as you can tell um this is a brutal brutal difficult week to try to figure things out so good luck on your picks um thank you so much for listening on all that make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new around here but yeah we're gonna get out of here before this is a long long video um again i thank you so much for listening and all the help you've done with uh the channel this uh season so far and all that very much um uh, very much appreciated my nose is stuffed up <laughs> it's early and snowing and i just hate it snowing on halloween what a shame dude what a shame all right though you guys have a great rest of your day night morning mid afternoon mid evening that weird ass time between like 11 and noon or it's like is it noon is it is it like afternoon is it morning it doesn't feel like morning you can get lunch um that time yeah all right though you guys have a good day whenever you do happen to listen have a good one and i'll see you around all right go lions go tigers and of course it's always go patriots even though we suck right now um yeah i'll see you guys thanks a lot peace out stop recording go